what's up everybody this is uh rocky's war room uh as you can see we got another game of bolt action set up except this one's going to be a battle report uh i got my buddy ray say hi ray hey that's him over there cool star wars shirt uh and we have <laughs> we're only basically playing on this half of the table it's a standard um scenario out of the book called uh sectors it's the last scenario it's attack defender uh it's four quarters of the table over here and it's divided into four um i you roll a die to see you pick which side the long sides so i chose this side over here i'm the americans and that means he has to in the other quarter opposite deploy in that corner quarter over there so it's basically three foot that way and by two foot is a quarter now you get victory points uh, one victory point for each unit in your neutral zone and one victory point for each or three victory points for each unit in the enemy zone, enemy zone uh, table quarter. In so addition, these would be these would be neutral zones. Yeah. In addition, you get a victory point for each enemy unit completely destroyed. Yes. For each enemy unit completely destroyed, you just take a die out of the bag and hand it to your opponent as a victory point. Um, of course, this is the ocean out here. So we're right on the ocean front. <laughs> <coughs> Pardon me. <laughs> so this is our table set up. Got a cool little town in the center here. This is our dead center mark here because you had to deploy. Uh, you can't be anywhere close to 12 inches to the center. So here's the German forces. He has a sniper a, in here. What's this right here? We got an squad? infantry squad. With the infantry squads here, we've got a first lieutenant here, okay. medium machine gun team there, and supporting that flank, we've got our half track with elite grenadiers and the Stu 42. Stu 42. And of course, this is a theater selector for uh, uh, the Normandy, um, what we're allowed to take. Yeah, Mid-1944. Mid-1944. And in reserve, you have what? A panther? Yeah, I got my panther, and we've got two infantry squads and another first lieutenant. Okay, and in my reserve, I got two infantry squads kitted out with a BAR and just rifles, and a, uh, another, this is a dual reinforced platoon, both of us are playing with a second lieutenant. I got an M3 Lee, Plain Jane Lee, and a 76mm uh, 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 Sherman, uh, the better Sherman, the one that has the heavy anti-tank gun on it. Fury. And, <laughs> Fury, <laughs> and a bazooka team. But your deployment over here... Yes. So I deployed a first lieutenant with uh, a forward air observer over here, an infantry squad here, an infantry squad here, and uh, my lonely flamethrower team. Hopefully, he can make it over to that building over there to uh, <laughs> flame his Germans out of that building, <laughs> his snipers. But we'll see. It's only six inches, so. Oh, and what's this over here? Oh, yes, my sniper. Could there be an American sniper in this building? There sure is, right there. <laughs> He's got to die in there. we got to take that out of there. Oh, get that in the bag. There we go. Put him in the bag. Now, that's deployment. Um, I'll show you how uh, turn one turns out. We'll record um, uh, each turn after what happens. It's just easier for me and easier on us. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll see you in a minute. Okay, that was the end of turn one. So we're gonna move the turn marker to turn two. And it was a very interesting turn. Uh, forced each other to do a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go left or right over here. So he brought his Panther on after, well actually, we'll start with this. I, I advanced on my Sherman and I took a fire at that building that had his sniper in it, right there, and uh, blew him to smithereens. And he counter deployed with his Panther and took a shot at my Sherman and missed, which is fortunate for me, not for you. <laughs> well, we're going to have a tank battle now. Yeah, See, yeah. They're ready. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, my, I brought an infantry squad on here. I brought my second lieutenant on here. I brought the Lee up the street and took a shot at his Hano mag, which is no longer there. It's over there now, and missed. I brought another infantry unit in here. I ran my sniper from that building to that building. I moved my flamethrowers up. I moved my bazooka team on right there and trees are falling over. It is war, they do that. 
Um, I've moved both of my infantry units up here to this cover, <clears throat> along with my first lieutenant. And my forward reserves ran up here before anything was over there. <laughs> but now there's stuff over there. Uh, so he brought on his, what is this, first or second? It's a first lieutenant. First lieutenant and two infantry squads on here. He moved his stew up here into the center, which is scary. And he moved his Hano mag up here and rallied his units inside, uh, which had, what, two pin markers on them? Yeah, the uh, yeah. Germans failed to get a preparatory bombardment, but the Americans did, and it just put some pin markers down. We didn't have any uh, any serious hits, but uh, yeah. we've removed all the pins now. So he has moved his medium machine gun team in here. Uh, yeah. That's your other lieutenant, yep. right? And then he moved his infantry unit up here. You did a snap to action with something, didn't you? Over here, yeah. Over just there. Just to get these guys Just to get those guys up. It. And then I did, with a little bit of fire from light machine guns oh, yes. from that squad, he we fired killed one of the air observers. And killed one of my air observers here. So the, I knew they were... <laughs> the bodyguard, not the actual air guy. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the end of turn one. We'll carry on here. And uh, at the end of turn two, we'll show you what it uh, turns out. So... Americans kind of pushed forward a little bit, spread out the table. Germans kind of stayed in their little cocoon here. So uh, we'll see what happens. All right. All right, so we'll turn the dial to turn three. That's the end of turn two. And uh, it was an interesting round of uh, moving up <laughs> and kind of getting into positions, attack positions. So uh, we'll start over here as usual. So his Panther took a shot at my Sherman again pinned it out and forced him to go down so I was unable to shoot with it. Um, that probably wasn't a very good spot to put him right off the bat. <laughs> um, and then we got uh, my Lee moved up the center here and the infantry uh, snapped to and followed them. Uh, you took a shot at the sniper in this building mm -hmm. with your Stu-42 and totally annihilated them but didn't burn the building down, thankfully. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, we had two infantry squads here. The one that took fire passed a orders test um, with a snap two from this guy, and they he ran around the building over here, and this infantry unit ran from here to here, just to kind of get a little bit further away from that uh, nasty German double unit over there. My bazooka team ran up the road and is hiding behind the table, ready to strike that stew over there. Hopefully, my. Uh, Flamethrower team just kind of shuffled, did a curly shuffle over there. And uh, this last infantry unit ran from here and into this building over here um, to get some more cover. Uh, and the German units. So they, he got the first die and he immediately activated snap two and activated fire onto the infantry unit that was sitting over there and he took a pin, is that correct? Yes, okay. but I also killed the forward air observer. Oh yes, you killed the forward air observer, that's right. So no airstrikes will be coming in in this game. <laughs> Unfortunately. I put him in kind of a crappy position uh, right over there, but he didn't have, on deployment, my first move was here and then he brought them on. I should have probably held them back a little bit, but I was hoping to get a strike over here in the center. So he moved the handle mag over the wall um, and just plopped him right there. His Stu-42 took a fire at that building, we already know that. His MMG team is in ambush. His other two units back there are in ambush as well. Preparing for my infantry over there, obviously. <laughs> right, Ray? Yep. <laughs> also because I don't want to go out when there's a tank in the road. That, that is absolutely true. And my would... tank is busy trying to kill your tank. That's right. <laughs> so uh, that's the end of turn two. Uh, things are getting uh, a little spicy. Um, somebody's going to have to make the first move here. Uh, we'll see what happens. So, on to turn three. That was a fruitful turn for the Americans. <laughs> <laughs> My poor baby. Oh, the poor panther, man. He got... So, he smartly advanced his Sherman over here. To get behind some hard cover here. Got the shot off. Got the absolute luckiest die roll. Scored a hit. Scored and explodes and killed my panther. <laughs> and then, to even further hurt the Germans... The hero of the day is that bazooka right there, which immobilized my Stu-42, so he's pointing at one thing he can kill yeah. for the entire game. The bazooka team just jumped out of the side of the building and says, get him! <laughs> but other than that, we've got Americans advancing on this flank. I've redeployed my infantry that was over here back over here. 
he's coming up the center there and uh, on the back there I managed to force a lot of his units over here to go down in yep. an attempt to get some forces up onto this flank over here yeah and uh, in the next turn we'll see how effective that can be I'm still over here with my infantry units and my my uh, first lieutenant so and he moved all his boys back here into this hard cover, ruined building, factory, whatever you want to call it, that I haven't painted yet. <laughs> <laughs> it will be soon. Yeah, warning, not everything's painted. <laughs> so uh, that's the end of turn three. So we're going to turn the dial to turn four. Right there. And we'll be back and soon. And we'll be back. Okay. Boy, what a turn that was. <laughs> yep. So uh, my Sherman moved up, took some... MMG fire over here. Uh, these guys moved, ran up here. Um, these guys here just kind of went around the building into the center. They just shimmied like a shimmy shanga. <laughs> My Lee moved up here to take some fire, to shoot some fire over the this infantry over here. Gave him a couple pins, but uh, he moved that, he unloaded his guys over here on this side of the building and moved his handle mag. The handle mag got his side armor. <laughs> <laughs> and popped the side armor of my M3 Lee. So sweet, sweet justice he's... for uh, my poor beautiful panther, <laughs> which is still dying. So he, you know, exploded that because it's vulnerable. It's plus one penetration on the side armor. So and it easily catches fire. So yeehaw! <laughs> I shouldn't have exposed the side armor. I just kind of wanted to support this flank over here, but now it's just a a, a roadblock. So. Uh, his 242 is still sitting there. It took a shot and missed. Uh, there's his Hano mag. These fellas here, when I shot, he put that guy down. Um, I shot at this one with my other MMG from them, and uh, they took one pin. Did one die out of that squad? Yeah, you got one. I got one. We got a few casualties. E each so, one of my squads actually now has a guy gone. And this this unit took three pins. Three pins this turn. That's good. I kind of pinned them down a little bit. I uh, used my ambush on this one as they moved forward. Um, that's scary. <laughs> that's my grenadiers. That's grenadiers with a bunch of uh, SMGs and all kinds of goody goods. Goodness. So that's the end of uh, turn four. Turn four. Turn sorry. Four. Turn it up to turn five. Turn five. Here we go. So a lot happened, and we'll be back. All right. That's the end of turn five. Only one more turn to go. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> if uh. I'll let you roll, it'll be low, and then we won't go further, right? Thanks. <laughs> well, uh, let's start over here as usual. Uh, my Sherman moved up and took a shot at his Stu 42 and finally immobilized it for the second time, so it is gone. Uh, and then, uh, what, what do we do next? Let's see. So uh, then you had your infantry advance no, here. No, they were right here behind the building, and they advanced over here, to yeah. you because you had them in ambush. Yeah. And you fired... Oh, you, that should have been put back to fire, yeah, but that's okay. That later. So they fired on there, and the reason why I put these guys up here to get fired upon is I had some infantry here. Since the ambush went off, I ran my fellows over here because I've got tons of dirty Germans over here to deal with. <laughs> <laughs> Bring in some support over here. And I moved my officers right here so they'd be within six inches so they could get off their next move. What else do we have? Um, he moved his handle mag this way, took a door knocker shot at the Sherman over there Dong. and missed. <laughs> and his officer went down because I shot at him with the uh, HMG. And he rallied this unit, got all those pins off. Uh, his veteran squad with all the submachine guns has got four pins now. Yeah. So I pinned him down pretty good. I, I popped around the corner and shot my flamethrower at him. Didn't kill anybody, but I gave him three pins and returned fire. He returned we fire. Got him. We got him. <laughs> Not much you can do against that many shots against two guys. So, no. um, and I lost some guys to the Stu Forty Two. Uh, he was able to get uh, die draw um, on them uh, before I could even do anything. So, so that is it. We're set up for the that is turn last five. Couple turns. So, where's that? There it is. So, turn six. All right, we'll see you in a minute. Okay, wow. Uh, so the end of turn six was quite interesting. Um, let's start with the Sherman. 
So Sherman came around, and before it came around, the half track got a shot off with its light anti tank, just bounced off the side. But uh, the Sherman then swung around and blew it to Mars. Yep. <laughs> we uh, swung our infantry out because if the game continues, they are going to attempt a mad race to take out that tank. Yeah. Uh, officers did a, and the machine gun team did a little damage here. You have some careful positioning with your uh, squads over squad. here. Got a shot off and got a pin. The real action has been over here where the Americans have pulled back to fortify their side of the table and the Germans are advancing. Mm -hmm. A ton of pin markers on that veteran grenadier squad. Yeah. We rallied, didn't get all the pins off, so we're going to see what they're going to take in a little bit. But we've swung our squads around and... Now it's time for the uh, moment of truth. Yes, let's see if the game on a, continues. On a one, two, or three, the game will end, and we will total up points. Two, the game, the game is over. All right, so. Handshake. <laughs> we will be back in just a moment after we tally up victory points. To talk about the game. Yep. Okay, drum roll please. And the winner is the Germans. <laughs> <laughs> Simply on points. Score, 13 to 4, uh, what is that, 9? Yep. Close game. Yeah. Wasn't far off. Um, it could have been a lot different if there was another turn, simply because the Sherman was still alive. If I had another turn, I was planning on getting these infantry in to try and take out the Sherman. Yeah. But uh, really, the only thing that got me the victory was getting so many infantry units over in his deployment zone yeah because here's the center so this zone right here from here to the center and over he gets three victory points for each unit that's in my zone and that's what won it for him is getting these two units this one here is just outside of it so the majority of his units behind in the neutral zone but he still gets one point for that and one point for that and this is the other neutral zone over here and I only had two units in the neutral zone right here on this side. So I only had the Sherman over there in his zone. So three, four, five, and, yeah, you know, five, and I only killed four. So that's nine points. But he got he got all of my vehicles this turn. That Oh, yeah, that I mean, look at Sherman, the carnage. That Sherman with the 76-millimeter <laughs> gun, that tank did some work this game. Killed the Panther. Did the final shot on the stew, even though the bazooka did the first immobilizing, and just utterly yeah, blew the snot out of my half track. I was really surprised. It's the first time I ever used a bazooka. I was really surprised at, at the lethalness of that thing. Yeah. But you cannot leave them in the open, which I did. It, you know, and they just... You know, I, I'm going to take the uh, better version of the Lee next time. Uh, but, uh, I, you know, it just gets boring with me using two Shermans. See, I like the two Shermans because so. it would be more of a... You know, more like what you saw. But the Lee is, it's an interesting tank. Um, well, light light, light anti-tank gun, medium anti-tank gun, you know. I yeah. mean, that's pretty good. I mean, there you go, folks. It ended in turn six. And what looked like it might have been, you know, a, I mean, just in kill points. And it, it, you, you, you outbeat wanted... me, but you, you killed all my veteran small units, you know. Yeah. Getting that observer first thing where I put him up there thinking, oh, he's not going to bring anything up over here. Yeah. You know. And then so. rolling a one when I got the hit on his Sherman and just, you know, knock stunning yeah. it for a turn instead of blowing it up. That Because otherwise I would have had this Panther running around just mm -hmm. chasing him. That was but, a good game. Yeah. I mean, I pretty much controlled the center of the town. Yeah, you did. Of course, you did, you did kind of hold me up over here being in that uh, ruined building under hard cover. Yeah, I like the uh, I like so. the fifty point medium machine gun team. Yeah, well, most of the time the sniper takes them out pretty quick. Well, but I'm almost I'm almost half tempted to next time just skip the sniper and take a second machine gun team. Yeah, Gives as long you... as you keep them in good cover. Yeah, they're usually pretty good. So, but there you go, folks. That was a good game. Uh, this was fifteen hundred points. Um, the scenario was sectors, which is awesome, and uh, we will play another game. Uh, using a different scenario and uh, do a report about it. Ray? See you later. Ta-ta for now!